the time has come. Brucey's got to go, unfortunately. It's not a, it's not an easy decision that we came to, uh, and the van has been amazing, but it is now just time. It doesn't suit our needs anymore, uh, you know, with everything that we've got going on this year. Um, it's not going to get used as much, and it's such a lovely van, and it's just a lot of van to kind of have sat around not being used as much so we figure there must be someone else out there in the world that can make use of the van um, and hopefully have as much fun and adventure as i have in it now this one's come about quite quickly because when we make a decision especially when i make a decision and my mind's made up on something that's pretty much it and we've got so much else going on at the moment that we didn't really have time to second guess it it was like if we're going to do it we're going to do it now because otherwise we're not going to have time until the summer and by then it'd be too late so we went and looked at this van uh, last night and it was lovely so we made the decision to put a deposit down and we're on our way to go and pick it up tonight i'm just waiting for johnny to get home from work and then we're going to shoot off and get it There we go, so we are here. You probably can't see me because of the crap lights. Obviously it's evening, it's dark now. But we've just, um, about an hour and a half away, just got to where we're buying the van from, from this really lovely guy called David, um, through DJ Van Sales, it's really nice. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's my new van. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome to my new camper. It's, uh, it's kind of weird, we looked at it, Looked at it one day, went to pick it up the next, and now here it is, part of the LBB fam. <laughs> Can't wait to have some adventures in this. Oh, it's going to be a while though, which is partly why we decided to change the van. But uh, yeah, once it's daylight, I'll uh, get accustomed with it myself, have a look around, and uh, then I'll show everyone else around. still really cold but it has stopped snowing so now as promised i can show you around my new micro camper this is a new venture compact based on a 2014 fiat doblo cargo so it's nice and small and let's get to it so as you can see got a pop top here obviously quite essential because even for someone like myself um quite short you wouldn't really be able to stand up or do much in this without the pop top and if we start over here got the kitchen down this side so down the near side of the van got sink two burner cubby got my control panel there Uh, another shelf which obviously was cut back because of the locality to the two burner and what i like here is i've got nice big sideboard space so at the moment i've got this here not sure what i'm going to do with it because that's obviously out of my old van but i was thinking i might use it for like food and stuff when i'm on the road so we'll see we'll see there's a lot of things that are still work in progress <laughs> so along the bottom here you've got there's like storage underneath this unit as you can see there and including cutlery drawer and then this which is a lot bigger than it looks that's my kitchen cupboard there so it's got all my cooking stuff in it uh like bowl plate cups if we go under here there is you probably can't see in the dark my fresh water tank uh 10 liters and i'm quite happy actually because obviously this is you know my I say occasional use obviously we use it all the time but in terms of going away uh, i'm quite happy to actually have just a, a fresh water can this time that i can fill up rather than having a whole tank and it's got a submersible pump in it and then this side is where oh you can't see that at all so here 
is I've bought this storage unit and that's got like toiletries, electronics, different things in it. And then there's my little cleaning pack, obligatory pee bottle, obviously. That's all under there. And then here, got my compressor fridge, which is exactly the same as what I had in my old van. Go. Okay. haven't actually fired that back up yet. That's still on vent mode. Moved down to the end of the unit and I've actually got this table here, which is really cool. So that's obviously nice and neat. There's a table leg situated under there and then that table just clips onto that rail there and then the leg is doesn't actually go into the floor, it just supports the table. So that clamps on there if I need it, which I really like. Uh, I've added in these Velcro um, cargo nets, which are absolutely brilliant. So they're just Velcro look and they just stick to the carpet and they stick solidly as well. In fact, I'm gonna leave a link for them in the description because um, I was really impressed with how well they stick because I've put another one up the back there. Um, yeah, I stuck another one on the back door there and I was really, really impressed with how well they stick and how sturdy it is. It's like a pocket. And that there, I'm not even gonna pull that off because it's stuck so well on there. So yeah, really impressed with them. And then actually that brings me on to a good point. So these are all the inbuilt lights. So I've got this one, which looks a bit like a nipple. That one there, and I've got two of those. I've got one either end. So I've got another one there. And then this one behind me. And I like it because they're all individually operated as well. So I, I really like that rather than just on or off, so I can obviously tailor it to whatever I'm doing. Ah, woo. So this is a bit extreme. Oh, hang on. Hello. Hello. You okay? Yeah, yeah, good. Just back from the auctions? Yep. Right, I'm gonna get on with my tour. All right. Catch in a bit. Ah, love him. I think he's actually more excited about this than I am, because he, um, he he likes the T5, but I think he likes this more. So he's just, he's even more excited than I am. So, as I was saying, obviously taking all those cushions off, that's a work in progress, because I'm probably not gonna keep that long cushion, even though that long cushion is actually in place so that when you sit here, because the roof comes out quite far, it keeps your head away from it. But obviously I've got my own cushions that I'm going to just use with these two here and that should do the same trick. So that's still a work in progress. But obviously I've only had it a few days. Um, I haven't been away in it yet, so we'll see. But this is what I was going to show you. So this is where you would make up the bed. So this would obviously, these pull out here like so. And then what you do is obviously use these as infill cushions. But because it's just me, what I'm most excited about is I am literally just going to sleep on here like this. So I won't even have to make a bed up. All I'll have to do is just literally move the cushions if I need to. So move the infill cushions and that's it. That's all I'm going to have to do. So I'm quite excited about that. And then we do have storage under here. So this is where the majority of the storage is. So oops, if we lift that up. So under there, I've got like all my camper essentials. Again, it's quite dark under there, so you can't see. And then if we come this side, again, this is a feature that I'm really excited about because in my old van, the toilet didn't have a home inside the van. I had to physically get it from out under the seat and bring it in all the time. Whereas this one, ta-da, toilette. That is actually my toilet out of my van. Um, this one didn't come with one, but there we go. So that's that's it under there. There's my battery. Oh, the light in here is shocking. Um, there's my battery, which, I'll put that down. So that's my battery, which will be changed. Obviously I'll be bringing my EcoFlow battery over from the T5. I'm definitely taking my lithium with me. Um, so that's obviously gonna go under there. And then here, another thing I'm most excited about, hang on. I actually have curtains that go across the front. So no more having to put a sheet up uh, over the seats to try and act as a barrier. I actually have um, curtains that go across the front of the van. You have no idea how excited I am by this. <laughs> as you can see, there's curtains on every window. And at least now, 
obviously it's not a walk through but at least now I can actually get from the cab to the hab and back if I need to I can jump in there and and do whatever um which as a sort of solo solo traveler I like that actually um so that's really good and I'll show you what else is really exciting move this storage box out the way the lady obviously made this as well this like tidy and she left it in so that's absolutely fantastic so I've got like toilet roll I've got like um you know clothes um like hair remover tool because obviously even though the cats don't come in here somehow I still get hair everywhere uh, you know gloves hat slippers and um, things like that so I thought that was really really cute and I really liked that what else is really cool about the Doblo cargo, which is a feature of the actual base van, you get this huge um, storage shelf up here. So for me, perfect for things like, you know, the um, insect bat, my bin that folds and unfolds when I'm not using it. And um, I just take the bag out, store it up there. Um, shopping bags are up there, umbrella, all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's about it really. There's a few things to do. So we need to change the stereo so that I can connect my phone to it. Cause I mean, I think that even has a CD player, like wow. And this as well, the driver's seat. So you'll probably laugh at this. The driver's seat doesn't have a height adjuster because it obviously wasn't specced on the base van um, when it was first registered. So I think I'm gonna have to get a, um, like a little booster cushion, <laughs> but hey, Mandy assures me that her niece is the same height and she's had to have a booster cushion in every vehicle she's had so it's absolutely fine. Other than that, it's lovely. It, it does what it says on the tin. As you can see, it's all in quite good condition as well. So it's been well looked after. Oh, and that's about it. Um, oh, we need to add diesel heating as well or get a heater because I've got no heating in this one. Same as when I first got my other van. Oh, and add a solar panel. I need to add a solar panel obviously to charge. So change the battery over get a solar panel, fit some heating, and oh, I need to get a fire safety stick for in here as well, because I haven't got one in here yet. Um, but I think I'm the stereo, change the stereo over. Other than that, pretty sure Mini Beast is, uh, is ready to go, as yet unnamed. So that's it. That is my new micro camper.